I, I have a little bit of something to drink. I hope you brought something to drink too, because you need it. The more you drink, the more you laugh. Okay? So let's have a little bit. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. Mm. So I didn't have anything except coffee. So I just put a little whiskey in it. It tastes pretty good. I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's new. Did you see Kim Kardashian is officially a billionaire. That's right. Billionaire. She got so much money. Oh, my God. Do you know what she bought? I'm going to be the first to tell you, I think. Maybe. Maybe you know. Maybe you don't. So I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> Let me tell you what she did. She bought. She's prepping for the apocalypse. You think it's stupid? <laughs> That's right. She built a bunker. She did. I don't know what it looks like yet, but it's going to be big, and I know it's going to have a lot of food, so maybe I should go back there and interview with her. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the sad side, I know I always look very happy to you, and I am, for the most part, very happy, but, you know, I've been having a little bit of trouble with with coming to America and working for rich people because, you know, rich people, especially the celebrities, they are a piece of work. I'm going to tell you something. They are, oh, my God. They are ridiculous. So, and that Matthew McConaughey, you know, I worked with him for a while. Wow. I still have nightmares at night because I'm dreaming about Matthew. <laughs> You know, he was a taxidermist. You know, he would get rug killed and he would go mm -hmm. get like dead skunks and, and I don't know, cats, and dogs, <laughs> and anything dead on the road. He would pick up and he'd bring it home and he makes it into a nice statue. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. Oh, you know? And no matter, no matter how much febris I put on them, they still off. Oh, <laughs> disgusting. disgusting. So I now am having trouble sleeping, you know, because and I'm grinding my teeth. I had to go to the dentist and he had to give me this thing so I won't grind my teeth. You know, I, I put this in my mouth and, and so I don't grind my teeth. And then they give me pills so I can sleep. But I'm still having terrible dreams about rug kill. Rug kill everywhere. He tried to put one in my room. I said, no, don't you put that shit in my room. Uh-uh, no. So, so I had to go to the psychiatrist. And she said, look, Rosa, if you're having trouble telling about this story, what I want you to do is I want you to put it on paper, write it, letter to Mr. Matthew and tell him how he traumatized you and how he makes you have nightmares and tell, yeah. tell him that he did bad things. So I said, you know, he said, can I mail it? She goes, no, 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 just burn it. I said, no, I think I'd rather he know exactly how I feel. <laughs> so I, I wrote him a song. Okay, and I'm going to play it for you tonight on my ukulele. You see, here it is. <laughs> it looks like a kiwi. That's a kiwi. Okay. So, can you hear it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very nice. 
life, but it's not my style because it's wrong kid, wrong kid. I like to be nice, I like to smile. I said it's very nice, but it's not my style. Feliz Navidad. Yeah. But you should see what he got for his mother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel better when I sing that song. I do. So, okay, people, I think I'm going to go back and take my pills now. It's time. <laughs> I gave me nice, strong pills. Okay, I chase them down with tequila. You all have a good time tonight. Thank you for coming. I love you all. Good night.